Hi there, friends. I'm Joshua Mills. And I'm Janet Angela Mills. And we want to welcome you into our home. And we're sitting here comfortably in our beautiful home. And I thank the Lord for our home. So thankful yeah, for all that he's thankful. given us. Um, but we're just sitting here and God's literally just manifesting himself right here His in our very home. glory is showing up right here in our home. Uh, even as we were between uh, taping, uh, doing some of the filming, there were angels, angelic lights that were showing up right here in the room. And uh, I, I was conversing with Janet Angel for a little bit. All of a sudden we saw this little tiny feather floating right here and it started to go up. I mean... Absolutely amazing. God's when you talk glory about his miracles, is here. They they even increase and they and yeah, they happen do. when you just talk about. So them. we're believing, even as we're talking about the glory and experiencing these manifestations right here in our home. We're believing it for it to fill your home. Yes. We're believing it to fill your work office. We're believing. And listen, if you're watching at your work office, maybe you you better be careful that <laughs> your boss you doesn't find working. out. But but uh, <laughs> I believe that the glory will change atmospheres. And the glory will, can, I mean, it can bless businesses. And the glory has the ability to bless your workplace beyond anything else. And so, Lord, we just thank you for thank this you, glory Jesus. that is flooding the lives of those that are watching right now. That's right. Lord, we thank you for your glory that's going from our home right here, this tangible glory that we're experiencing that will infiltrate the lives of those that are watching in Jesus mighty name. Thank you Jesus. Amen. Thank you Lord. Well his he's so wonderful and so he good, so faithful and so true. And we were talking about Psalm 34 earlier and I just wanted to continue on in verses 8. It says in the scriptures, "Oh taste and see that the Lord is good." Yeah. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. You know what I like about the scripture? The taste and see. Yeah. It's talking about our senses, our natural senses, that we can we can taste and we can see. We can we can know it on the inside. That's right. And we can even know it visibly. Like That's right. there's a spiritual insight that God wants to give you in the glory where you begin to see the goodness, see the glory of God. Uh, Jesus spoke about it in John 17. He says, Father, I pray that they would see my glory. My glory. That's right. That they would see. That's his desire. We can taste and see. That the Lord is good. That's and right. then here at the end of the scripture, it says, blessed is the man that trusts in him. Part of tasting and seeing that the Lord is good is tasting and seeing the blessing. Because blessed is the man, blessed is the woman that trusts in him. That's right. Right? That's right. Yeah. And it says, oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. Mm. No want. Supernatural provision is no ours. No want. Isn't that amazing? No want. Because the earth has taught us that we have to be in constant want. We're, we're never good enough. We never have enough. There's always more that we, we need. But in the Bible, it says that those who trust him will actually never be in want. And that reminds me of uh, the 23rd Psalm that says, The Lord is my shepherd. That's right. I shall not want. That's right. Because he's my shepherd, I don't have to worry about where I'm going. I don't have to worry about, uh, God, I, I don't have all the directions in front of me, or, or God, I don't have the map laid out for me. All I have to know is, He is my shepherd. I can trust in Him. You're complete with Christ in, in your we life. We are complete You're in full. Christ. The glory of God is the fullness of who He is. That fullness and completeness is within well, you. Well, the glory of God is the fullness of God. Jesus Christ is the revelation of God's glory. That's right. And so we can be living in this place where we do not have want, where all of our needs are met Thank supernaturally you, from the realms of God's divine provision. Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply for all of my needs. And some of you might be saying right now, well, I have needs that yeah. need to be met. And God wants to meet those needs right now. So we together are going to come into agreement with you yeah. and declare that your needs are being met right now you as you put your trust in him. Reach up into the glory realm right now. Just lift up your hands into the glory realm and just receive from heaven right thank now. Thank you, Jesus. And say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. That I shall not want. Thank and you, that Lord. all of my needs are met according to your riches in heavenly glory. It's a done deal. It's already, it was finished. It was settled at the cross of Calvary. And it's a done deal in my life today. 
I love this. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is a man that trusts him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no want to them who fear him. And then it continues on. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack mm. any good thing. No good thing. No good thing. No good thing. Lord, I thank you that all of your good stuff belongs to us. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you that all of your good things belong to those who are watching. Yes, those Lord. who trust in you, those who, whose fear is in you, those who worship you, thank those you, who are Jesus. devoted to you, those who have given their hearts to you. Through salvation in Christ Jesus, Lord, I thank you that you're not holding back the good stuff, but you're releasing it to us, <laughs> releasing yeah. it to them right now yes, Lord. in Jesus' name. There's somebody that's watching right now. You've been believing for a massive financial miracle, and let me tell you, it is right around the corner. Just, just begin to expect that you're about to walk into that financial miracle that's like right. you have never, ever walked into before. There's somebody else you've been, you've been uh, having a lot of debt problems uh, where the creditors have been calling you and you've been getting letters and threats because you've been past due in these debts and you don't know how you're going to get out of it. Even for some of you, you've been in your mind, you've been contemplating bankruptcy. But right now, the realms of Thank glory you, Jesus, are infiltrating around. your life. And right now, the realms of glory are reaching out to you. Thank and you as Lord. God reaches out to you, He is able to do for you what nobody else can do for you. The glory is able to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. Thank and you. right now, there's realms of glory that are reaching out. Whoa. Right Thank now, I can feel this. The supernatural miracle provision of God being released into your life. For some of you, there's going to be unexpected checks they come in the mail. Hallelujah. For some of you, you're going to receive phone calls in the days ahead of forgiveness of loans and forgiveness of debts. Just receive it right now. What God begins in the spirit, he releases into the natural. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Hallelujah. the name Virginia. And Virginia, there's a promotion right now you, happening in your life. There's a job uh, promotion uh, for you. Yeah. So you just pick up the phone call, open up your computer and receive that email and just give God thanksgiving because their job promotion is right there for you right now. In Lord, Jesus name. cover Virginia in your glory right now. Yes, Lord, Lord, I thank you for even putting some gold in her hands right now. <laughs> Angie. Virginia, you ought to look at your hands right now because the Lord is showing me that there is gold coming supernaturally. Thank you, Jesus. Look right there. Little tiny specks of gold coming in your hands. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Oh, Thank this you, is wonderful. It is I wonderful. Can feel, he is wonderful. He is wonderful. I can feel the realms of glory opening up. And he up. wants to invade Ingrained every under, area of your life. He wants unfolded. to invade your homes. He wants to he invade does. your workplaces. He wants to invade your churches. And you know, Janet, that is so true. He wants to invade our homes, our churches. Every place where we walk, yeah. I think it's the verses in Joshua, it says that God will bless, uh, God will give you every place your feet shall tread. God wants to bless us. And you know, one of the ways that God actually releases his blessing into our lives, in Hebrews it says that the angels of God are the ministering spirits that are sent from him to interfere or intervene in the lives of those that are heirs of salvation. That's right. Those that have received Jesus Christ as their Savior have these angels assigned to them. And some of those angels are angels of prosperity. Hallelujah. Just begin to expect those angels of prosperity to show up for you. I've actually written a, a teaching, and I want to get this to you, friend, because God has given me these things that I might release them, that they might multiply in your life. But I have written a supernatural mentorship study. I would love to mentor you. We would love to mentor you in the glory realm and to release teaching and impartation for you. Uh, on a monthly basis, we send these teachings to our miracle worker partners. And we would love for you to partner with us, that we might join hands together in ministry, that we might walk into this glory realm together and experience the goodness of God together. Uh, and so I would love to send you this teaching, Angels of Prosperity. Why don't you go ahead and call the number that's on the screen or write, write the, the web address down or go online and, and become a miracle worker partner today. Thank you. Uh, Partnership is so powerful, isn't it's it? so powerful. And we would love for you to join in the power of partnership with us. And remember this, friend. Your, your praise, praise changes, changes the, the atmosphere. atmosphere. God bless you.